Hello, uh, my name's Nick Papadopoulos. I'm the Dean of Salisbury. Uh, welcome to the Deanery Kitchen. It's uh, lovely to have you join us here. Some of you will know that my grandmother, one of my grandmothers, uh, was born on Tenedos, which at the time of her birth was a Greek island. But when, when my grandmother, or my yaya, as we say in Greek, when Yaya was only about 11 or 12, um, in one of the treaties at the end of the First World War, Tenedos was handed to Turkey, and she and her family left the island and made their way as refugees to the island of Lesbos. That's a pattern which has been repeated often in recent years, as I'm sure you'll remember. Yaya was 90 when she died, but I don't think she ever went back to uh, the island of her birth. She never forgot it, obviously, and she would often talk about it and about the cooking uh, that she had learned in her mother's kitchen there. And when I was little, my favourite thing uh, that Yaya would make when we would go uh, to see her on holiday was a cake or a biscuit called finikis, which I adored. Uh, she would bake a huge batch of them and um, I would be very polite and make sure that they were all eaten uh, by the time that we left. I've discovered, um, I've discovered since that uh, finikis aren't purely uh, a tenedos speciality. They're known all over Greece, often by the name of Melo Macarona, and they're often cooked at Christmas. Um, here they are. I think I might have slightly overdone uh, these ones. They're a, they're a cake made with, um, with orange and orange zest and a little dash of Greek brandy. But I think what makes them special is what we're going to do now, because having taken them out of the oven, I've got in the saucepan here um, a syrup, which is made of um, honey, Greek honey and sugar, a bit of water. And what we do is um, literally pour the syrup all over the cookies. Um, now, I'm not claiming these as a health food. Uh, I think that's what makes them special. And essentially, they'll sit in the syrup until all the syrup has been absorbed. So why do the Greeks uh, make these at Christmas? Well, I suppose in the first place, they're a rather indulgent treat, all that orange and syrup and brandy and so on. But what I, what I, like, to, um, what I like to imagine is that there's a bit more to it than that. Um, in these last days of Advent, every morning at morning prayer, we say, um, like the sun in the morning sky, the saviour of the world will dawn. Like rain upon the meadows, the Christ will come down upon us. Just let's hang on to those words for a minute. Like rain upon the meadows, the Christ will come down upon us. The coming of Jesus at Christmas is, of course, uh, the birth of a baby in a stable in Bethlehem, but it's also the outpouring of God's loving presence upon the whole of the world. Think of the syrup pouring onto the Phoenikis, or think of the rain, we've had a bit of that in recent days, rain that pours down indiscriminately, prodigiously, profusely, drenching everything that it touches, a bit like the syrup and the cookies. They'll be suffused, soaked in the syrup, uh, just like I was yesterday, walking home from evening prayer uh, by the rain. At Christmas, God's loving presence is poured out on the world in that same uh, indiscriminate, profligate, profuse fashion upon all of us, upon all human life. Yes, there's a baby, born in a stable in Bethlehem. But in the birth of that baby, God's loving presence has been lavished on the whole world. 
That's what I'll try and remember when I enjoy these later on. I really hope that uh, you're able to enjoy Christmas in the love and company of those who are dearest to you. I also hope that you'll find one moment, perhaps, I don't know, when you hear a carol on the radio, perhaps when you hear an unexpected knock on the door, uh, perhaps when you've got a moment by yourself over the washing up. I hope you'll get one moment just to turn your face skywards and remember the love of God being poured on the world, suffusing you, filling your heart, filling your spirit, and making you a bearer of God's good news to all you meet. May God bless you, and may you have a very, very happy Christmas.